Hey everyone, so I've got a bee uh, near this bench. I'm in a beautiful state park here in central Massachusetts and we're going to photograph today. Um, this is becoming a collection. This is my Roly Flex and my Roly Cord. But I don't think I'm going to shoot with either one of those today. Uh, I'm going to shoot with a camera that's on loan to me. And that is this Rolleiflex 622 Old Standard. It's in a beautiful leather case. I'm going to try to open this thing one-handed. Uh, welcome back. So, all right, now we're going to open it. And a uh, gentleman who I am interested in buying this camera from uh, kindly let me borrow it for the weekend and I'm going to shoot a roll of Pan F Plus in it here in this park. You can see this camera is in beautiful condition. I tested the shutter last night. All the shutter speeds seem fine. It's a beautiful little camera from 1934. And if I buy it, it's gonna fit like a glove with these two other rollies. So let's take it, uh, well, we'll load it up and take it for a spin. I did some reading last night on how to operate and load this camera. It looks pretty easy. Uh, I, luckily the rolly cord has taught me how to uh, advance to frame one and uh, get the counter synced up properly. This does indeed take 620 film. And as I had mentioned, we've got a roll of uh, Ilford Pan F Plus at the whopping speed of ISO 50. I, I think it will be perfect for this camera where the shutter maxes out at 1 300th of a second. So let's load her up. We have to keep the film as tight as we can and we have to advance it until, well, this is how I do it on my rolly cord. I'm gonna advance it until we hit that first top roller, which usually equates to a red dot on some of the other rollies. So we've got that done. We'll close her up, hit that latch right there, and we open this little window. So we're gonna advance it with the flex lever until we find number one. I'll do that all. We've got our one in the middle. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit this little button right here. And we're gonna do it so we see a one in that little window and we've got it number one we're ready to shoot the lens on this camera is a zeiss tessar uh, f 3.8 and all of the older lenses on these cameras be it a roller flex or a roller cord are uncoated and very susceptible to lens flare. So I have this little Zeiss Icon hood on that I got from eBay for nine bucks. I've already shot a roll with it on the rolly cord and it does not vignette and worked out very well. So not a great fit on this camera. It does slip off and uh, we're gonna keep shooting uh, in this beautiful park. So what, what do I think about it? This camera truly was a honor and a privilege to photograph with, and I hope I don't fall in love with it because, <laughs> well, I fell in love with the two other Rollies and uh, this thing is just a joy to use. And given the fact it's now almost 90 years old, um, it's just a testament to the engineering and the attention 
to detail that they put into these just incredible, incredible machines. Of course, it's all mechanical. Uh, you're, uh, I hate to say it because I never use it, but people always say, oh, you just use Sunny 16. Well, that's fine, but um, I do have external light meters and even on the phone that I'm recording this on, uh, I have pocket light meter, which don't believe anybody that that thing is accurate. You know, people will say, oh, it's not accurate. Well, show me the proof. I, I've never once had pocket light meter let me down. And in a pinch, when you don't have your handheld light meter, it's fantastic. So um, certainly there's the limitation of one three hundredth of a second, your fastest shutter speed. That's why I'm using 50 ISO film today. Uh, you can't stop down like you could on the rolly cord. The rolly cord will go down to F32. And this guy, I believe, goes down to F22. But actually, you can stop it down a little more uh, I saw one video where the gentleman said it can actually get down to about F27. So, um, the flex lever is just great. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know if it's necessary with the kind of shooting you're doing with this camera, which is usually slow. Um, I, you know, unless you're zone focusing, I don't think you're going to be doing any street photography with it, but I could be wrong. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a, a street photography camera. Not for me anyways. I'll use the, uh, auto mat for that, but I really had a lot of fun and I, I truly feel honored and privileged, uh, to have shot with this camera. I don't know if I'll buy it or not. The gentleman selling it is asking for about double what it's really worth. And I did my homework and my due diligence. So when he gets back from uh, his trip and the show that he's at, uh, I'm gonna point it out to him and we'll see if, we'll see what he says. But if I get it for the price that I want it at, uh, I think it will be a great buy. So. Hope you enjoyed seeing this uh, Rolleiflex old standard and take care for now.